Hey everybody, and welcome back for more Lords of Shadow. This time we got somebody else with us, Arsenic's man. We we can't carry this train alone, so go ahead and introduce yourself there, Mr. Guest. Help! They've got me locked up in the basement! It's cold! There are rats down here! No, you gotta sit here and watch this entire bullshit with me. They've got me tied up. That's actually the only way we could get a guest for this game, you know. I should have actually shilled for guests before we showed off the gameplay. That was my bad, I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, it probably would have helped. So anyway, my name's Derek Zeros Barona. Nice to meet you guys. And wow, we just jumped right the fuck in, didn't we? Well, yeah. I mean, we we see basically we've seen all this shit before. What this video is, uh, for those of you that like aren't reading the thread, and I don't blame you on that one. Um, <laughs> each level in the, the various chapters have a trial that you unlock after you beat it the first time with various. Uh, stipulations that you have to complete. Um, so this is what this is. We are playing on the hardest difficulty setting, which you unlock after beating the game once, uh, Paladin, and we're doing the trials. And that's basically it. I mean, you get there's no reward for doing these things. Wait, is he wearing an eye patch? Holy shit, he's wearing a... Not just an eye patch. Have you ever played Metal Gear Solid 4? Oh my god, is that the... What the fuck? I just... Okay, we went from him standing there to... Suddenly, QTE. That's awesome. That's how this game rolls, yo. QTE all the way. Plus, Shadow Dagger's fucking rock. But yeah, that's about the only major Easter egg that this game offers. Once you beat it, you unlock the uh, Solid Eye from Metal Gear Solid 4 and uh, Snake's Bandana because, you know, Kojima. <laughs> that sounds like a reasonable answer to me. Oh my god, I miss those zoom in so much. <laughs> this right here. I fucking loved this when I first saw it. I still love it now. He holds the thing up, and the warg still sees it, and it's like, well, fuck it, I'm just gonna jump for him. <laughs> it's like the warg gave up. He's just like, uh, I don't want to deal with this game anymore. Please take me out of this game, please. <laughs> um, the trial for that level, by the way, was you have to beat the level with at least... <laughs> you have to beat the level with at least one of the villagers remaining that are there, and it's, it's pretty easy. This okay, one, I, I don't heal yourself. One. Don't don't heal, yeah. I'm yeah. Like, we're going at frickin' s What is this, like, Sonic Unleashed now? We're hitting the boost mode. I'm gonna be honest with you, I really didn't feel like watching all this shit again at normal speed, so there's gonna be some, some liberal editing going on here <laughs> concerning speed up and jump cuts. <laughs> he says this as he told me, initially, that he loved this game. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I like the game, I get it, people don't like it. I am a generous Let's Play host. <laughs> no, I'm I'm okay with the helicopter blade whip there, though. That, that actually does look pretty boss. That is one of the better upgrades that you can get. We don't have access to it yet, but yeah, that's, we will be getting that <laughs> ASAP. <laughs> I still feel ba bad for not liking, by the way. <laughs> like, really? I'm gonna get you, no you're not. I feel a little bit worse for that one, though, because... If you remember in the main part of the LP, these things will actually jump from their ward and try and jump on you. If you dodge, then they just completely miss and hit the ground. <laughs> uh, this is... I'm gonna be honest, I forgot how dumb this level was. It's, it's pretty <laughs> it's, much it's not, a Okay, now. but now you've got the mount, so it's even more dumb. <laughs> Wait, what? You can't carry any more fairies? What What the hell are fairies? Yet another sub-weapon that we get in the next chapter. Oh, what? oh. Also, yeah, that, that was the end of the trial. That's, that's party on. We didn't heal ourselves. That was very, very difficult. Yay. It should be noted, too, that on these trials, especially like with the, the not healing, there is no, like, death limit, so... Even if you die and you have to restart from a checkpoint, you can still carry on the trial, so it's it's all good. <laughs> oh, dude, I can't wait to adventure through the dead bog again. Yeah, actually, I did see the I did see the trial for that one. He has to kill fifty four goblins. Oh my! Well, God. fifty actually, J uh, just as long as you kill fifty before the uh, the oh, level I ends. The, I saw the counter up there. Yeah. Yeah, it's. Which, I guess, you know, as far as the trials are concerned, you get a little counter up there detailing what you're supposed to do and what you're, well, sometimes not supposed to do. I guess it's... I mean, the system works well, it's just there's no point. Unless you're an achievement whore, because we all know the game of score is the only score in life that matters. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna be the kind of jerk who is happy with just the beat level X achievements of my gamer score. <laughs> Honestly, when you're dealing with, like, Lords of Shadow, that's about the only thing you need to worry about, and most people aren't even gonna bother with that. 
Oh. Um, yeah. I love how you're skipping the cutscenes. It's just like, dude bunched at the tent. Uh, no, fuck it. Do you have to open up that book every single time you want to skip a cutscene, by the way? Yep. Every time. Fucking idiot. It's like a QTE <laughs> in itself. Go on, this fucking game. I have to thank you guys because a friend and I were considering playing this game as just something to do and hang out. <laughs> And I saw the thread, and I was like, okay, this, you know, I've been interested in it any, you know, anyway. And I started watching it, and it's, it's no longer up for consideration. So, thank you. Thank you guys for that. Well, I, don't think I didn't see that fucking double jump, by the way. <laughs> yeah, no, I caught that too, asshole. Well, I'm not it. Yeah, there's a double jump in the game. Come on. <laughs> You're it's a Castlevania game, there's always a double jump. Yeah, we're we're thankful for that. You're sitting here playing the uh, the master file, basically. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of master file and all that, here's my bit of informative information for this level. Um, you can go around to kill all the goblins in the villages and everything, but there won't be enough. As long as you don't blow up the tree with their grenades here, then they'll infinitely spawn. So this is this is basically the goblin farm. Okay, so that's bullshit right there. I'm sorry. <laughs> Not only is it a uh, of farm replay value, just padding, basically, to come and do this trial in the first place. But they don't even let you do it the right way. You have to basically cheat and farm in order to get them all. Well, yeah. Well, that's just <laughs> bullshit. I'm sorry. Well, look, now I'm gonna... As far as trials are concerned... Also, I threw in the, uh, the, the cave troll fight just because it's paladin, it's a boss fight. It's... Maybe it's... Maybe it's... Did through? Not really. <laughs> Yeah. It really doesn't seem very different, dude. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm... Unless you're planning on using the Jesus rays in this fight, I don't know how it's gonna go different. Unfortunately, there, there is no Jesus ray demonstration. That'll be in the main LP video. Oh. <laughs> I'm just looking for anything that would differentiate this game in the slightest. I'm not finding anything either. No, the only thing of it is, is that it's, I'm not really showing it off here, but in Paladin mode, you do a little less damage to the enemies, and they do, I think, twice as much on the difficulty that we're playing at in the other main part, so it's it's a little more difficult. But the thing of it is, is that you can only play Paladin on a new game plus, so, yeah, so you've already got, like, all the shit, so it yeah. kind of, like, negates that. If you're if you're playing it on Paladin, you've already beaten the damn thing to yeah. start with, so it's just like, yeah, we could make it, you know, a little more fun, but we'll just make them a little bit more, you know, this meat shieldy. Fun? Fuck that! This is Lord Shadow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm noticing I'm noticing his dash boots too, by the way. Yeah. That's not actually that big of a spoiler. We get that at the end of the next chapter, but yeah. So, you... but no, I, I want to point this out here. We've got um, we got dash boots, which you know, double jump. Um, at what point do we get the charge shot? <laughs> Believe it or not, there is actually a weapon that is fairly similar to that. I I fucking knew it. So now we're stealing from Mega Man. This game rips off just about every kind of series, which at various points in time. <laughs> oh, okay. You you. I want to point this out, too, that Black Knight fight, which, you know, I, I, you guys have spoken enough about that one for me to uh. say anything. If you look at how it goes, big armored dude uh, and that gets faster as you rip off his armor, it's pretty much exactly like fighting a Dark Nut soldier in uh, Zelda Twilight Princess. Yeah, they even have kind of like the similar like sword design and everything. Also, by the way, the trial here, it's not what you think. It's uh, complete this little puzzle here in five moves, which is the minimum amount. We already covered this, I think, in the main video, but you know, yeah. in case you dumbasses forgot and really need to know, here you go. <laughs> Look at that, uh, puzzle solved. Puzzle solved! Puzzle solved! <laughs> yes! Did you know you solved the puzzle, gamer? <laughs> it would not be Lords of Shadow if they didn't have this big Fuck off thing sitting right there for you when you put, <laughs> solve the puzzle. Finish and oh, yeah. beat the Ice Titan in 125. This is actually, I'll be honest with you, there's a couple of these fights. You know, you had the Stone Idol Titan at the end of Chapter 2. You've got another one in the, uh, the last chapter of the game. These are mm. some of the more tedious trials there are. Um, the, the time limit is extremely 
strict, <laughs> shall we yeah. say? Speed lit, speed running a Colossus. I can imagine this would not be on somebody's um, somebody's easy to do list. Oh no! And the only way to do this is to uh, use the dark crystal that we got at the end of uh, chapter two. Uh, and Summoning does, anima. Basically, yeah. What that does is that when you use this on the Titan. All the runes on there, they only take one stab to uh, destroy. And keep in mind that the... Holy the fuck! There is a health right there! Yeah. Is that really the only way you can do it? Yes, that is the only way you can do it. So that not is only dumb do you as have hell. to farm, you have to cheat. Basically, yeah. God, <laughs> also, I don't know what's game. up with the timer. Um, it seemed to just... It doesn't start immediately as soon as the fight starts. It waits until he, I guess gives you the actual opportunity to climb up on him, so I guess it's kind of generous there, but still. This is this is a thing, man. This is truly a thing. So we're about to wrap this up, man. You mentioned this is like your first time watching this here. What do you think of Lords of Shadow so far? Let's get a fresh opinion other than Arsenic's, because he's just a <laughs> negative bastard. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to honestly say that I'm glad you're playing it, not me. <laughs> A shining endorsement. I am the else. LP Jesus, ladies and gentlemen. Because, <laughs> you know, I got into Castlevania with Order of Ecclesia, which was, I guess, right when the stagnation hit its peak. <laughs> air quotes. Yeah, uh huh. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, I happened to actually like that one. I thought Shinoa was pretty fucking awesome. Oh, yeah, I agree. Order of Ecclesia was very good. But it was too little, too late, man. Too little, too late. <laughs> I suppose it's... I didn't have a problem with the Metroidvania, though I do see why people would get tired of it after nine games. I will I will give you that much. But, you know, then again, I also liked... I, I also liked Soma's Jacket, so I'm... Let's, <laughs> let's be honest, my opinion probably isn't for much. Yeah, yeah well, I, mean, I like the Metroidvanias, don't get me wrong. I think they're fun. It's just it's, you've got nine games of basically the exact same thing. But Down to the enemy sprites on most of them as well. So it's, you know, mm. it's like the definition of stagnation, good or bad, whatever. But Yeah, it was it was interesting for a while, and then after a while it was, you know... Yeah, it, it wears them, but there, there were good games. And even later on in the series, like Order of Ecclesia, uh, Portrait of Ruin, I really enjoyed. I know that gets a lot of shit, but I liked Portrait of Ruin, I liked Order of I Ecclesia. I have not played Portrait of Ruin. I've played, um, I played Aria and Dawn of Sorrow, I've played, like, Circle of the Moon, I've obviously Order of Ecclesia, but I've never gotten a hold of Portrait of Ruin, and that actually annoys me. Well, here's the highlight of Portrait of Ruin. <laughs> oh, you no. get to dress up Charlotte as a fucking nun. And it's great. What? Oh, fuck, yeah. That's right. <laughs> I, I thought the I, highlight was true anime Dracula death or whatever it was at the end. I always figured the highlight was, you know, them screaming each other's names when you switch characters. That too. Well, that's a pretty good highlight as well. <laughs> Still something to look forward to eventually. It is, yeah. You ought to pick that up when you get the chance. Um, but, man, Derek, I appreciate you joining me for this. You... <laughs> You are the only reason that there is voice commentary for the trial video here. Otherwise, yeah, Arsenix and I would have just said, fuck it. Thing. That does seem to be the thing. Um, and if nobody else is brave enough to step up for the next one, let me know. <laughs> you know, surprisingly, I, I, I know this is a hard concept to grasp, but people are just kind of reluctant to jump on a train wreck. I, I don't understand it. <laughs> I, I cannot imagine why. Um, I, I'm not sure why the hell I'm doing here either, you know. Aside from the fact I'm still tied up to this chair. Well, see, the beauty of it is, is once you get enough booze and you're, you become like Arsenix and myself and you just don't really give a fuck anymore. Gold mine, gas chamber, fuck it. It's the same difference. It's Lord's <laughs> Shadow. Uh, except, except I don't drink. Well, least, we can hook you up with some reefer or some shit. Like that. Some kind of inebriation yeah, yeah, drug going no, on I'm, there. I'm kind of the designated, uh, designated Let's Player, I guess. I... I <laughs> I got like six Dr. Peppers here, and that's about all I need. Um, the designated Let's Player. I think that's that's probably the best note to end this one on. <laughs> You're the only reason we're not banned yet, basically. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Give it Yo. a couple episodes. I might find a way to surprise you. <laughs> You'll be the one who reports us, basically. Shut up, Arsenix. <laughs> I'm trying to end the video here. God damn it, man. <laughs> Hey, be, this video's never gonna end. I'm gonna be treating you like Tyler by the end of this shit, man. Come on. Dude, I anyway. used that joke in the Contra 3 video. You can't pull it out now. Fuck you. I'm the man. I'm the conductor of this bitch. I can <laughs> use whatever joke I want. Ladies and gentlemen, 
<laughs> enjoy, I hope you enjoyed the trial video of Lords of Shadow. There's more of this golden shit to come. <laughs> anyway, I'll catch y'all later. Later, See peeps. See folks.